In this video, we'll be going over how to calculate the pH of a salt solution. A salt is just an ionic compound, and then a salt solution is just an ionic compound that's dissolved in water. This question reads, what is the pH of 1.0 molar sodium fluoride solution? We're also given the Ka of HF is equal to 6.6 .6 times 10 to negative 4. So the first thing that we have to do is just cross out any of the spectator neutral ions and see what's left over. I listed the spectator neutral ions here. They're going to be the group 1A metals, the group 2A metals that are calcium below, and then these anions right here. So we will cross out the Na because Na is in group 1A. As you can see right here, Na is in the first group. So we'll cross out Na, and if we cross out Na, then we'll be left with, with uh, F minus, because Na is a positive one charge, so F has to be a negative one charge. So really, this is asking, what is the pH of a 1.0 molar F minus solution? F minus, since this has a, ne has a negative charge, we know it's going to be basic. So this just comes down to calculating the pH of a weak base. We can use the KB shortcut, or we can use the full process. I'll show you the full process, and I'll show you the KB shortcut afterwards. So we can start by writing out the reaction F minus plus H2O, because remember this is in a H2O in a solution where water is the solvent. Then we'll get a reaction F minus the base, so it's going to accept a proton from the, the acid. H2O is acting as the acid here, and we'll get HF and OH minus. I have a double-headed arrow here because this is a weak base. Then we can set up an ice table. The initial concentration of the F minus was 1.0. Water is a liquid, so we can just ignore it. And the original concentration of HF and OH minus, they're both zero because this question doesn't mention anything about them. C will be C stands for a change. F's C line will be minus X. And the HF and OH, they're both going to be plus X. And then E is just the sum of the I and C lines. This will just be 1.0 minus X. 0 plus X is just X. And 0 plus X is just X. Now that we have the equilibrium values, or the equilibrium variables, we can plug this into the KB expression. Or we have to plug it into actually the KB expression. So we're given the KA here. But since F minus is a base, we have to use KB, not KA. So let's just set up the KB expression for now. The KB expression is this concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. So this will be x times x, x squared on top, and then the bottom will be 1.0 minus x. But we have the Ka, we don't have the Kb. So to calculate the Kb, we can use this equation. Ka times Kb equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative, negative 14. Then Kb is just going to equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the Ka, which is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 4. We're given that value. That comes out to be 1.51 times 10 to the negative 11. So that's our Kb. Let's plug it in right here. That's going to equal x squared divided by 1.0 minus x. But since Kb is so small, it means this reaction doesn't really happen much. So that means the x is going to be extremely small, and we can ignore the minus x. Pretty much if the k value is to negative 4 power or less, like negative 5, negative 6, then you can just ignore the minus x. Then we can just multiply both sides by 1, and then take the square root of both sides to solve for x. So it really just comes down to just square rooting this number right here. And so x is going to equal 3.8. 8, 9 times 10 to the negative 6. And x is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. So that's the concentration of the OH. Now we have OH, we can figure out the POH, which is going to equal negative log of 3.89 times 10 to the negative 6. That's 5.41. And then lastly, pH is just 14 minus POH, so 14 minus 5.41. And that is 8.59. So as predicted, the solution is indeed basic. The pH is above 7. This is the full process for solving for the, for the pH once you know that the solution is basic. The shortcut, as I was mentioning earlier, is just the, K, the KB shortcut. You can go straight to 
setting up Kb equals x squared divided by the concentration of the base instead of having to set up the ice table. So we can just skip the ice table and it comes straight to this. And then if you if you need more practice of this, just check out my, my Kb video where or my video where I talk about how to calculate the pH of a weak base. Let's try another problem where we calculate the pH of a salt solution. This question reads, what is the pH of 1.0 molar ammonium chloride solution? We're also given that the Kb of ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So the first thing we should do, just like in the last problem, is just get rid of any of the neutral spectator ions, which Cl- is one of them. You can see it right here. So we get rid of Cl-, we're left with NH4+. And since this ion has a positive charge, it means it is going to be acidic. So we're just going to be calculating the pH of a weak acid solution. We can write out the reactions out of the ice table, or we can just go straight into the Ka shortcut. So since, again, this is an acidic solution, we're going to be using Ka shortcut instead of Kb shortcut. So Ka shortcut, Ka is just equal to x squared divided by the concentration of the acid. And once we get x, x is going to equal to H plus concentration and pH is just going to equal negative log of x. We have the Kb. Let's solve for the Ka. Well, Ka is going to equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the Kb, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. That equals 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10. So we'll put this right here, Ka is equal to x squared divided by the con original concentration of the acid, 1.0. Um, and this is 1.0 because this is going to break up into NH4 plus and Cl minus. And there's a 1, 1, and 1 ratio. So if we start with 1 molar, we'll get 1 molar of both of them. Then we can just multiple, multiply both sides by 1 and take the square root of that. And we'll get our x value, x equals 2.36 times 10 to the negative 5, and x, when you're using the Ka shortcut, is equal to the H plus concentration. And pH is just negative log of H plus, so negative log of 2.36 times 10 to the negative 5. And that comes out to be 4.63. This pH is below 7, which matches up with our prediction that this solution is going to be acidic. If you're having trouble with determining whether the salt's acidic or basic, you can definitely check out my video where I go over that in detail. But to summarize how you do these problems, if you're given a salt, again, a, an ionic compound, first start by getting rid of any of the spectator ions and figure out if you are left with an acidic solution or a basic solution. If you're left with an, an acidic solution, then use the Ka shortcut. If you're left with a basic solution, then use the Kb shortcut. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.